I love being a hospice social worker. It's a very diverse position. I work with um, all types of families and address ranges of problems ranging from um, community resources, death and dying, emotional support, counseling. Um, I do community resource referrals and um, every day is different. Every family is different. Every family is unique. Um, I've learned a lot from every family I've worked with. I've grown a lot as a professional. Um, and I sometimes think I get more from my patients than I give. I'm very fortunate to um, become a part of their lives at this stage in their life. And um, I'm just very thankful for the job I have and what I do. I had one family in particular that I worked with. And I knew going into this family that I was going to have to take my time with them. They were. Um, they were older, and uh, they truly were, as Tom Brokaw called, the greatest generation ever. And they were very private people. So I had to take my time. I knew that I just couldn't go in there and you know, get into the heart of everything right away. So it took me a while for them to feel comfortable with me coming into their home and sharing stories with them that really didn't pertain to the wife's illness in the beginning. And it was only after I had gained their trust and confidence that um, she opened up to me and we were able to talk about her disease and her illness and what it meant to her and the fact that her husband of over 70 years was going to be without her. And they were a very loving couple and I remember he would sit there and just pat her hand and you know, brush her cheek and, and she would blush and I, I it was just such a wonderful experience, and uh, we did a lot of a lot of good work together. Um, I, we grew to love each other, and sadly enough, a year after she passed away, uh, he came onto our program, and um, he too passed away. But it was my experience with her that enabled us to to remain on with him during his journey. Um, so it was a really wonderful experience and um, very rewarding.